The series begins in a time of revolution and people want control of their own destiny. The guns that were found, do you really think they meant to use them against me? As the role of the constitutional monarchy takes shape, there is some tension between Victoria and Albert. There are revolutions all across Europe. I don't believe my people wish me harm. This country it needs change. Lord Palmerston is a famous figure. He had enormous popular appeal. People loved him because he sort of somehow captured people's imagination. The people believe that the day when Europe is ruled by despots is coming to an end. You seem very sure of what the people think, Lord Palmerston. I make it my business, ma'am. He sort of strides into Victoria and Albert's world and he does what he wants. And so there's a lot of friction between them. These days, you can't be too careful with the company you keep. Indeed, I can't, Lord Palmerston. Most people aren't aware that Victoria has a half-sister. Theodora, I want so much to be of use. I love the idea that there's this sort of sibling rivalry. It's such a good story. And it's one that's never been told. You have never been in my position. Theodora is very good at playing Victoria and Albert off against each other. So it's a great tension there. We can take care of her together. One of the joys of this series has been writing about the children. They bring real depth to the series, because, of course, they can say the things that nobody else will say. Would you like to be a queen, Aunt Fear? I hope people will just see what it's like to be the mother of seven and queen. When I was a little girl, I made a promise to myself that I would be not just a queen, but a great queen. They will see how hard it is to be a woman in the public eye, then as now, and how Victoria brilliantly overcomes these preconceptions.